Welcome collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you so much for joining me for another diecast emporium video. I'm Tommy as always and today I have the second mix of 2021 Matchbox Real Working Rigs or just the Working Rigs as they're commonly known as today. There should be four new trucks in here or four new vehicles. Not sure what the assortment looks like. In an ideal world, there will be two of each. Not sure if that's the case. A lot of times with these real working rigs, you'll find three of some and then two of the others and then a single of just one. It really just depends on what Mattel feels would sell the most on the pegs. This case I purchased from my friends at jcardiecast.com for around $40. You can find the link down in the video's description. So if you'd like to avoid the frustration of trying to track these down in the stores and on the pegs, I highly encourage you to just go to that link in the description, buy your case, it gets delivered right to your front door, and then you have the full assortment with very little effort. So this is the K case, which as I said is the second assortment for working rigs in 2021. Let's go ahead and waste no more time. We'll crack it open. Pretty excited to see what's in here. I know that we're supposed to have a scraper, uh, a new aerial ladder truck. I'm not sure, honestly, what the other two are. Haven't done a lot of research on it. Really haven't had the chance to. Been pretty busy. But as you guys know, or if you don't know, you're about to know now, the Matchbox working rigs are my favorite type of Matchbox vehicles to collect. They always have. I hope Matchbox never discontinues the line. All right, taking a look inside. That's what the assortment looks like, and I can tell you right now, it looks like there are three uh, aerial, aerial platform ladder trucks. Say that two times fast. Uh, looks like there are two, whatever these are, uh, one scraper and then two international trucks of some kind. I presume those are probably the rollbacks, uh, but they might be a, a new casting. Not real sure. So let's not waste any more time. First out, we have two of... Oh, it's a concrete mixer. Okay. So we have two... Try and get it out of the light. Cement King concrete mixer. So this is a generic cab the Matchbox uh, King cab that they use on a lot of their vehicles. This is number 8 out of 16, so you can expect there to be 16 total working rigs for this fiscal year for Matchbox. The working feature is that the drum rotates. By the way, stay tuned. Uh, when we come back from break, we're going to open one of each of these, put it on the spinny table. We're going to go in depth and take a look at each of these up close. But there's the card art. You can see that the mixer is in the background. Matchbox for working rigs. Up in the top right, you can see that this is a Matchbox original casting. On the back, Matchbox Cement King HD, which I presume stands for heavy duty. And then a picture of the rotating drum. Copyright date of 2020. So there are two of those. The all-important spacer. And then looks like three rear mount aerial ladder trucks. So we really only need to take a look at one since they're all the same. So this truck is manufactured by Pierce. And it's the Pierce Velocity Aerial Platform Fire Truck. This is always the most popular casting uh, in the real working rigs line. This is a unique take on it. This gold and black it looks like Snake Bend Fire Department is the fire department that they put on that. I'll have to do some research. I'm not sure if that is a licensed fire department or if this is a licensed livery on it, but nevertheless, it's pretty unique and pretty attractive. I kind of like it, um, but that's why there are three of these. My understanding is that this is the one that is probably going to sell the most of and historically has sold the most of when we're talking about real working rigs. And for those that may not be aware, Matchbox tracks and can always keep up on that by this barcode right there. They are always up on what sells and what doesn't. Back of the box, Pierce. Pierce Manufacturing Incorporated is a registered trademark of Pierce Manufacturing in Appleton, Wisconsin. That's on my to-do list, is to visit the Pierce fire truck plant. There's only one of the uh, wheel tractor scraper. Matchbox calls it the road scraper. This time it's in the very attractive and highly popular Rannick construction equipment livery. 
So that's going to be very popular as well. I apologize about the glare. There you go. Nice artwork. Uh, even though there is only one of these, just for you guys, I'm going to open it up. We will take a closer look at it. You can see that the working feature that it's advertising is that the tractor part of the wheel tractor scraper articulates, and that's how this machine turns. Top right, matchbox. Uh, this is number 5 of 16. What was the fire truck? I don't think I mentioned that. Fire truck is 7 of 16. On the back, it just reads road scraper. So presumably, I'm guessing this is going to be number 5, 6, 7, and 8, because the first mix obviously was 1 through 4. Last two out of the box. This is another very popular working rigs casting. There are two of them. And it is. It's number 6 of 16. This is the International Durastar 4400 flatbed transporter, also known as a tow truck, also known as a flatbed, also known as the rollback. Uh, this one is in a, what is it, Newfield Towing and Service livery. Interesting. Red truck and a gray flatbed roll body. Black chassis. Very nice. So that's the unboxing, that's the assortment. When we come back from break here in just a minute, we'll have the spin table out and we'll open one of each of these. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back, everyone. Let's take a look at the concrete mixer first. This, of course, is the Cement King HD. Couple working features on this truck. Obviously, the cement drum rotates. And it has RWR Cement Company, which I presume stands for and is paying homage to the original name of this series, the Real Working Rigs, RWR. And then the other feature is the discharge chute, which the concrete actually comes out the back of. That also rotates left or to the right, or you can leave it right in the center. Not a bad truck. Obviously, it would be a whole lot better if the cab was licensed. I think in the past, this has been licensed with a Mercedes actress cab. Um, maybe they just didn't have the license to do that. But at any rate, it's a nice truck. The paint scheme is, is somewhat basic, but the blue tires look really good. White cab and then the gray cement box, of course. Underneath of it, it still reads... Cement King HD, copyright 2018, made in Thailand with a base code of N47. I figured we'd start with that because I presume that will probably be the, uh, the proverbial peg warmer of the four in this set, if there's going to be a peg warmer. And I think, again, that's only due to the fact that it is an unlicensed truck. All right, next up... Unfortunately, there are only one, as you saw in the first part of this video, there are only one of these in the case. This is the wheel tractor scraper. Quickly, this machine is used to carry material from one side of the site to another side to fill in high spots, to take out high spots and fill in lower spots. If you guys have never seen a scraper work in the real world, check it out on YouTube. Look up some pictures on Google. They're a very useful, a very large piece of construction equipment. And before... We've seen Matchbox release it in the INC livery in a future or, or in a past release of the Real Working Legs line. So now you have the same model in both INC or Inc. and now in Ranek. So both very popular construction liveries now have a representation of the wheel tractor scraper. Aside from the articulating steering, which is how this machine moves, you also have the ejector, which is what this piece is called. Once the machine is full with dirt, this would move forward, ejecting the dirt out and through the bottom of the scraper portion right here. This would also raise in the real world. They casted it down. And it would go along scraping up dirt material and then lift it up, carry it to a site where it needs to go. And then the ejector would again move the dirt out. So a very, very nice casting. Again, it reads Rannick equipment on it. Caution. Stand clear, minimum 32 feet with a warning label right here. Some striping, and then Rannick right on the front of the engine guard. Very, very cool to have one of these in red and white. This will go great with your other Rannick construction equipment that you have. And I think it's more, for those that pay attention to scale, this is much closer to a 187 scale large scraper than it is to 164 scale 
So bear that in mind for those that may want to add this to their collection, but only collect 164 scale models. It is certainly not going to work for 164 scale. All right, next up, we have the International Durastar flatbed or the rollback, the tow truck. Again, this has been released a number of times before. In fact, I have a couple other versions of this truck. I have it in white, and I also have it in blue. And anytime this gets put in the Matchbox Real Working Rigs collection, it's often one of the first ones to go on the peg. So now, how about this for a July 4th theme? Red, white, and blue. Now obviously I don't have every release of this truck, but the newest one that we're going to focus on for this video is the red version. As I said, it reads, New Jersey's best, new field towing and service. It has a fleet number of 15. On the back of the truck, it has the Matchbox logo and then Museum dispatched at the rear. Warning Chevron at the back and then your rear lights. You have a bar at the rear that can be extended out and slightly down if you want to pose it towing a car, for example, behind it. We'll demonstrate that. You would simply put the car's front wheels in the two front wheel slots there, and there you go. You could have one posing that or pulling that car. And then obviously, you can have another car up on the flat deck of the truck as well. Makes a pretty interesting pose and allows you to pull two different Matchbox or Hot Wheel sized vehicles. As for the other working functionality, with a rollback, you would certainly expect the back to roll back. And not to disappoint anyone, you can see that Matchbox and Mattel have made that happen. And not only does it roll back, but it does go all the way down so that you can mimic loading and offloading broken down vehicles. Certainly a favorite. It's obvious why. It certainly goes by the Matchbox Real Working Rigs mantra of having real working parts. So... That leaves us with one more. Without question, based on sales and based on response from the collector community, the Pierce Velocity 100-foot aerial platform, also known simply as the fire truck, this is the most popular. Always has been, most likely always will be, until there's a brand new um, revolutionary casting that's released. This is very close to 187 scale. Again, for those that collect in a certain scale, and if you want a rear mount aerial ladder truck for your model railroad in HO scale, this makes a great addition for that. They cast it in the outriggers, which would deploy when you would want to lift the ladder up, but the outriggers, of course, are just casted in details. They don't work. You have monitors on front of the basket, which again, are just casted into the plastic detail. Snake Bend Fire Department is the name on the side. You have Truck 9 and Station 58. I've noticed 58 on a lot of Matchbox vehicles. Not really sure what that means. Maybe it's a 58 anniversary of, of something this year, but you'll notice a lot of Matchbox vehicles have 58 on it this year. So again, if somebody is familiar with the significance of what the number 58 means, let me know. Well, the real working feature on this is the ladder, the fact that it can extend. can extend to about there, which is pretty darn good. And of course, you want to make sure you angle your rescue basket or your platform to a level angle. You don't want to have your firefighters falling out of it. But this whole aerial ladder mechanism, of course, is plastic. The majority of the truck, except for the top of the cab, uh, is die cast. As you can see here, the base is plastic, and this part is plastic as well. Interesting to go with this scheme of gold and black. I've never really seen that before. Again, I don't know if the Snake Bend Fire Department is something made up or if it's real. Some of the other small, subtle details, you have lights on the front. The two warning lights are casted in parts of the windshield that come through the top piece. And at the rear of the truck, you have what I presume is probably a water intake for the um, nozzles at the top of the rescue basket. 
And then you also have a side pump here as well. If you want to see other releases that I have for this truck, we can do that. This is the San Diego fire truck version of it in red. Put this ladder down so that we can get them all on the spin table at once. I also have the Jensen Fire Rescue Ladder 5 in white. And then last but not least, I have the Roanoke Fire EMS also labeled Ladder Number 5. So that will conclude it for my review of this mix. Mix number two for 2021. There's a lot of twos in there of the Matchbox Real Working Rigs. You guys let me know down in the comments section below which of these four is your favorite. Is it the crowd favorite Pierce Velocity Fire Truck? Is it the International Roback Tow Truck? Is it maybe the Concrete Mixer? Or perhaps is it the Scraper? Let me know down in the comments section below. As always, you can purchase your Matchbox Real Working Rigs and just about every other Mattel product you can possibly think of from my friends at J Car Diecast. There will be a link to this case in the video's description down there, so make sure you check it out and show them some love. Until next time, I'm Tommy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review.